Well, this is my son's room. He's almost two, and this is his Fisher Price crib that we bought at Meyer about 100, 150 bucks. And a month ago, we put him to bed. We heard about a loud thud, and it turns out he climbed over the railing and jumped out. And he did it two nights in a row. So we figured it's time to turn the bed from a crib into a toddler bed by taking off this front rail. There was a wood rail here originally for a crib. You take it off, and I thought it came with, there's holes here and here and on the bottom for a wooden railing. And it shows it on the picture. I thought it came with it, but it turns out it's extra. And you can buy it, and I was going to make one. I was going to make a wood rail to go across. Um, but my wife talked to somebody, and it turns out a really good alternative is to use a pool noodle. So, we went to the dollar store and we bought a foam pool noodle. And this is, you know, two or three inches in diameter. And you just stuff it under the sheet and under the cover and it runs along the front here and it provides a lip or like a barrier so they won't want to roll out. And so far it's worked great. He hasn't jumped out or fallen out or anything. And it is kind of better than having a wood railing here because you'd have to climb over that and it, would, it wouldn't be really that good. So. This is a really cheap, easy thing. You could, you could use a blanket, I guess, but this is just nice to have. It doesn't take up a lot of space, and it's a nice, soft little, sort of like a railing, so that he won't roll out, and it's worked great. So if you're looking to uh, buy or make your own railing for the toddler bed portion of the crib, um, I, I say just go get a foam pool noodle, and it works great.